Hi, I'm actor Stephen Anthony Bailey. And I'm director Michael Lynn for the film Until Forever. And you're watching Critical Logos. Keep watching. Yeah. Let's drive off. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure when it was that I fell in love with Michael Boyum. I'm driving a pig to prom with Michelle Larson. Ya fui media vida de criticólogos y me encuentro aquí con el protagonista de la película Hunter Forever, Stephen uh, Anthony Bailey, right? Perfection. Perfect. Yeah, it was great. First time in Puerto Rico. First time. What was the most difficult uh, part for you portraying the role of Michael? Right. Uh, you know, I would say it would have to be uh, the emotional part of it. Obviously, it's a very heavy movie at times. Um, I related a lot to Michael's story. Um, um, so this was really a testament and uh, a dedication to my family by, you know, pulling everything out from my heart and putting it on the screen. You know, I see a lot of myself on the screen as well as seeing Michael and his story. Um, you know, plus it's hard making movies. It's long hours, not a lot of sleeping, you know, and you're going day after day after day to do the best you can do. And every day counts. Every take matters. So it always feels like if you, you know, you always feel like it could be the end of the world if you don't get a, a take to go well, you know? You, 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 you mentioned that uh, you had a lot of family that you know, suffered from cancer. Um, when, we, when you were when you first read the script, how did you prepare yourself for the character? Y yeah, typically, I mean, because I'm portraying Michael Boyum, who is a real character, it came with a lot more uh, baggage, I guess you could say. If I was portraying a fictional character, I'd just read through it and create him in my mind, and I can do whatever I want. With Michael, it was a little bit different. I was studying tapes of him, watching interviews of his friends and family, talking to his friends and family, really studying who he was. It wasn't just what was on the page. I wanted to go even deeper and really get to know him as well as possible. So what did you took away from the film? Mostly the wardrobe. You meant emotionally. Nice. Uh, you know, I, I think I just took away, like I said, I have this movie that I worked on for, you know, I was attached to the film. It's been five years now that I've been attached because I was attached before we started rolling. Um, you know, I, I, what I take away from it is, is uh, this, this thing that's like my baby, you know, because so much of me personally uh, is in there. Uh, so much of the things that I did in my relationships is in there. You know, I was injecting myself in there constantly. And the great thing is, is that after Michael's family watched the film, they said, that's exactly like Michael. So it was pretty cool. That's so Perfect. Uh, um, what do you want people to take away from it? When they go to see the movie, when they come out of the theater, when, what, what do you expect for, peop for people to take away from it? Right now, it just feels like uh, people need a movie like this. People need to be inspired. They need to fall in love. They need to go to the theater and laugh and feel. Some people go in there and they think it's very therapeutic and it feels good to cry in the spots that you're supposed to cry in, you know? So I think you can get a lot out of this film, but you're going to leave the film feeling uh, just good about life. You're going to feel inspired and uplifted. <laughs> How can I make a promise to her if I have no idea how much time I have left to get her? Continuamos aquí, ya esta vez me encuentro con el director de la película Until Forever, Michael Lynn. Michael, welcome to Criticados, welcome to Puerto Rico. Thank you, it's great to be here. First time in Puerto Rico? I was actually here about uh, 10 years ago off of a cruise ship, but that's such a quick stop. I'm really enjoying how the time I get to spend here that's and see this. This is your first official... Yeah, I would say so, yeah. Official, yeah. official. Yeah. Um, I think the, the most important question, I think this is the question you might get the most, is what drove you to you know, drive, to write a story like this one? Yeah, well, I was really inspired by Michael's uh, faith. He had such a strong faith and such a great attitude when he was facing this really you know, aggressive form of leukemia. I said to myself, how does someone do that? How does somebody look at such a, ho I mean, he's so young, and to look at something that bad facing his life and just, just to face it with such positivity. He really lived his life fully uh, and with, without, uh, without fear, without anger, and I was really uh, motivated by that. Let's talk a little bit about the Pickmobile, which is okay. it's really fun with you in the trailer. Yeah. How, how did that come about? Well, Michael really worked for a barbecue company, and he really drove around this pink Pigmobile, uh, too much to this embarrassment of his girlfriend. He'd take her everywhere in it, and so, you know, that we decided that's gotta be in the film. Um, what? 
you consider firstly what's the most challenging uh, aspect of you know producing, writing, and directing the film? It's such a powerful, you know, true true love story like like this one. Yeah, well, it, you're absolutely right. It was very emotional, and because it was very emotional because it was based on a true story. So we worked really closely with the family. In fact, the family was there for a lot of the filming, and so we felt like we really were recreating that moment of time in time. And uh, so we were feeling everything, and and the family was reacting to scenes that we'd shoot and say, "Yes, that's exactly how it happened." And we were filming in the actual homes where uh, that where they live and where everything takes place. And and we sat in the actual church where they got married. So all this just created a very, very charged and, and emotional set, which really helped to recreate this story and bring it to life on the screen. Michael, one final pitch. I want you to look at that, at that camera. I want you to tell the people why they have to go this Thursday yeah. and go see Unto Forever. Well, I don't know about you, but I love movies that make me feel something. I love it when I go to a, see a trailer and it just makes me cry. And if you check out the trailer, I'm sure it will move you, and the movie will move you too. You will love, you will cry, you will laugh, all this emotion. It's just a beautiful love story with some surprises thrown in. So come check it out this Thursday at Caribbean Cinema Cinemas.